at ng muling pagkabuhay ni Jesus na po mahal. We begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God in the highest and on the peace to people of goodwill. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. Take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Of mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit. In the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who will that your only begotten Son should undergo the cross to save the human race, grant we pray that we who have known his mystery on earth may merit the grace of his redemption in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Book of Numbers. But their patience worn out by the journey, the people complained against God and Moses. 
Why have you brought us up from Egypt to die in this desert where there is no food or water? We are disgusted with this wretched food. In punishment, the Lord sent among the people seraph serpents which bit the people so that many of them died. Then the people came to Moses and said, We have sinned in complaining against the Lord and you. Pray the Lord to take the serpents from us. So Moses prayed for the people, and the Lord said to Moses, Make a seraph serpent and mount it on a pole. And if any who have been bitten look at it, they will live. Moses accordingly made a bronze serpent and mounted it on a pole. And whenever anyone who had been bitten by a serpent looked at the bronze serpent, he lived. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Do not forget the works of the Lord. Do not forget the works of the Lord. Hearken, my people, to my teaching. Incline your ears to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth in a parable. I will utter mysteries from of old. Do not forget the works of the Lord. While he slew them, they sought him and inquired after God again, remembering that God was their rock and the Most High God their Redeemer. Do not forget the works of the Lord. But they flattered him with their mouths and lied to him with their tongues. Though their hearts were not steadfast toward him, nor were they faithful to his covenant. Do not forget the works of the Lord. But he, being merciful, forgave their sin and destroyed them not. Often he turned back his anger and let none of his wrath be roused. Do not forget the works of the Lord. Please all stand to honor the gospel. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you because by your cross you have redeemed the world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to Nicodemus, No one has gone up to heaven except the one who has come down from heaven, the Son of Man. And just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert, 
so must the Son of Man be lifted up, so that everyone who believes in Him may have eternal life. For God so loved the world that He gave His only Son, so that everyone who believes in Him might not perish, but might have eternal life. For God did not send His Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through Him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to your Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. And welcome to the Pilgrim's Mass of Minor Basilica and National Shrine of Jesus Nazareno. Saturday 9 a.m. is Pilgrim's Mass in this church. And so we offer this Mass especially to those who are sa mga, dun sa mga tao na nanggaling pa sa iba't ibang panig ng Pilipinas and even sa iba't ibang panig ng mundo na naglakbay papunta dito sa Quiapo Church. Maligayang pagdating po sa ating dambana. Sabi sa ating salmo, Do not forget the works of the Lord. Huwag kalilimutan ang gawa ng Panginoon. At isa sa mga pinakadakilang gawa ng Diyos ay ang krus. Ngayon pinagdiriwang natin ang kapistahan ng pagtatanghal sa banal na krus. Tuwing nakikita natin ang imahe ng ating Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno, lagi niyang daladala ang krus. Lagi niyang pasan-pasan ang krus. Ang krus na naging parusa sa kanya, pero ang krus din na ito ang nagtanghal sa kanya. Originally, ang krus ay ginagamit na parusa para sa mga pinakamasamang kriminal. Ito ay parusa ng mga Romano. Kung meron ngayon sa ibang bansa, merong lethal injection, merong silya elektrika, nung panahon ng ating Panginoong Kristo, ito ang pinakamalalang parusa para sa mga pinakamasamang kriminal, ang ipako at mamatay sa krus. Pero sa pagdating ng ating Panginoon, ang krus na simbolo ng kamatayan, kahihiyan at paghihirap, ay nagkaroon ng panibagong kahulugan. Dahil pag nakikita natin ang krus, hindi na natin nakikita o hindi lang natin nakikita yung paghihirap, pero nakikita na rin natin ang ating Panginoong Kristo. At nagkaroon ng panibagong kahulugan ang krus dahil nandodoon ang ating Panginoong Kristo. The cross by itself is meaningless. But the cross with Jesus on it, nagkakaroon ng panibagong kahulugan. Dahil unang-una, ang krus ay kagalingan. Kung papaanong sa unang pagbasa natin, ang lahat ng tumingin doon sa tansong ahas ay gumagaling, tayo naman na nananampalataya sa tuwing tumitingin sa krus ng ating Panginoong Kristo ay nakararanas ng kagalingan na espiritual. Kaya nga sinasabi, by His wounds, we are healed. Sa pamamagitan ng sugat ng ating Panginoon na nantamo niya sa krus, tayo ay pinagaling. Kaya sa tuwing makikita natin ng krus, lagi nating tandaan, at nawa lagi nating alalahanin na sa pamamagitan ng mga sugat ng ating Panginoon na natamo niya sa krus, tayo ay gumaling. Kaya ang krus, hindi na pagpaparusa. Ang krus ay kagalingan. Pangalawa, ang krus ay kaligtasan. Sa pamamagitan ng krus, naligtas tayong lahat. Dahil sa punong kahoy, nagkasala si Ebat Adan 
at pumasok ang kasalanan at kamatayan sa mundo. Pero sa pamamagitan ng kahoy ng krus, pumasok naman ang kadigtasan sa pamamagitan ng kamatayan at muling pagkabuhay ng ating Panginoon. At ang krus ang naging instrumento para mangyari yun. Kaya sa tuwing nakikita natin ang krus, sana maalala din natin, niligtas ako ng Panginoon dahil sa krus na yan. Ang krus para sa ating mga Pilipino, kadalasan pag sinabi natin krus, ang nakikita natin ay paghihirap. Kaya nga maraming nakakarelate sa atin kapag ka nakikita natin yung imahe ng mahal na poong Jesus Nazareno. Dahil kung papaanong bit-bit niya ang krus, tayong lahat madaling makarelate. Kaya nga pag tinanong ko siguro kayo ngayon, ano ang krus nyo sa buhay, malamang meron agad kayong sagot. Siguro yung iba sa atin, yung krus natin sa buhay o yung krus nyo sa buhay, ay yun yung asawa na kung ano-ano yung ginagawa. Siguro yung iba sa atin, yung krus natin sa buhay, yung mga kasamahan natin sa trabaho, na walang ibang ginagawa kundi manira. O di kaya naman siguro yung krus natin sa buhay ay yung kapitbahay natin na tinatawag din nating marites. O di kaya naman yung krus natin sa buhay, yung anak natin na hindi natin maitama, cellphone ng cellphone, bulakbol ng bulakbol. Di kaya naman yung iba sa atin, yung krus na pinapasa natin sa buhay ay yung ating karamdaman. Pero kahit ano pa yan, lahat tayo merong krus na dinadala. Pero sa tuwing makikita natin ang bit-bit ng krus ng ating mahal na poong Jesus sa Sareno, lagi nating tandaan. Kahit ano man yung krus na binibit-bit natin, hindi natin kailangang bit-bitin ito ng nag-iisa. Lagi nating tandaan. Ang binibit-bit na krus ng ating Panginoon ay hindi lang krus niya. Krus din natin. At kung lagi nating aalalahanin, na yung krus natin ay bitbit natin at ng ating Panginoon, ito ay gagaan at makakarating tayo sa ating patutunguhan sa kabanalan. Dahil ang krus ang naging daan ng ating kaligtasan. Kaligtasan. Pangatlo, ang krus ay pag-ibig. Lahat ng ito ay nangyari ng dahil sa pag-ibig. Sa ating Ebanghelyo, narinig natin na sinabi, dahil sa pagmamahal ng Diyos sa mundo, ibinigay niya ang kanyang bugtong na anak. At nung binigay niya ang kanyang bugtong na anak, walang ibang dahilan kundi dahil sa pag-ibig. Pinanganak ang ating Panginoon Heso Kristo dahil sa pag-ibig. Naghirap ang ating Panginoon Heso Kristo dahil sa pag-ibig. Muling nabuhay ang ating Panginoon Heso Kristo dahil sa pag-ibig. Siya ay ipinako sa krus dahil sa pag-ibig. Mga kapatid, tatandaan natin, ngayon pinagdiriwang natin ang kapistahan ng pagpaparangal sa krus. Ang krus na dati parusa nagkaroon ng panibagong kahulugan. Dahil ngayon, ang krus ay kagalingan. Ang krus ay kaligtasan. Ang krus ay pag-ibig. Sabi nga ni San Andres ng Kreta, kung walang krus, hindi maipapako si Kristo. At kung hindi maipapako si Kristo, hindi naipako sa buhay, ang hindi naipako sa kahoy ang buhay na walang hanggan. At kung hindi naipako ang buhay sa kahoy, hindi rin hindi rin aagos ang tubig sa tagilira ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo na naglinis ng mundo. At kung ganoon hindi mawawala ang kasalanan at hindi natin makakamit ang kalayaan at buhay na walang hanggan. Kung walang krus, hindi magagapi ang kamatayan o ang impyerno. Dakila ang krus at dapat ikarangal. Amen. Magsitayo na po ang lahat.
Let us now pray to God, the Father, who loved the world so much that He gave His only Son to die for us upon the cross. For every petition we shall say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church on earth may fight on to victory beneath the standard of the cross. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. That people of every nation and culture may find freedom and peace through the one whom God raised on high. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. That those who stand in need of God's mercy and forgiveness may find hope in the cross of Christ as a way to peace and reconciliation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. That the sick may see in the cross of Jesus the hope of complete healing and recovery. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. That those who sleep in Christ may be cleansed of their sins. Through the blood of Christ's sacrifice, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our prayer. prayer. Loving Father, in this life and the next, our hope is in the cross. Grant our petitions as we praise you for your mercies through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. As we offer this bread, and as we bring you this wine, bless them, Lord Jesus, feed us now, give us life, send us your Spirit, the source of our lives. We will serve you with love. Together we will serve you with Please all stand. Brave brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May the salvation, O Lord, which on the altar of the cross Cancel the offense of the world. Cleanse us, we pray, of all our sins. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you place the salvation of human race on the wood of the cross, so that where death arose, life might again spring forth, and the evil one who conquered on a tree might likewise on a tree be conquered through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and power tremble before you, Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord. God of hosts, 
heaven and earth are full of your glory, full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. O sana, in the highest, O sana, in the highest. Please all kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray. By sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Peace all stand. The mystery of peace. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, 
Thy will, will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please all kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Para sa lahat ng tatanggap ng banal na komunyon, sasagot po tayo ng amen pagkasabi ng pari o ng lay minister ng katawan ni Kristo at isubo agad sa bibig bago umalis sa harapan ng pari o lay minister. Sumunod po tayo. Alat na pus na banal, tanging maasan. Ikaw lamang ang inilikan, Yesus na poong mahal na sayoy. Nahabayubay Magsiawit tayong lahat At tagumpay ay lahat Ng Mesiyas na nag-irap Pag-ibig niyang inihayag sa kusang siyang nagdiktas Pagpalad na krus na banal Tanging maasan Ikaw lamang ang inigan Yesus na poong Mahal na sayoy na bahayubay, ang mga unang magulang ay sumuway sa may kapal, ang manunubos ng tanan. 
ay sumunod ng lubusan ng katawad ay makamtan papalad na krus na banal ang mga asan ikaw lamang ang iniligan Yesus na poong bahal na sa'yo'y nabalubay Sa balak ng itinakda na poong Diyos na lumukha gamit ang krus Natakila sa ngayon sa panukala na tayo ay mapalay na mapalad na kus na banal aming mga asan Ikaw lamang ang ininingan Yesus na poong mahal Na sa'yo'y nabahalubay Nang dumating na ang oras Upang lahat ay matupad Naging tao ang Diyos anak, iniluwal ang Mesiyas ng biyeng na maliwana. Palad na kus na banal ang ima. Asan ikaw lamang ang iniinihan? Yesus na poong mahal na sa'yo'y nabahayubay. Announcement, muling inihandog ng ating simbahan ang Nazareno Medalyon. Mabibili po ito sa ating parish finance office. Ito po ay nagkakalaga ng 25 pesos. Ang malilikom po ay gagamitin sa pagsasaayos ng electrical system ng ating simbahan. Mga kadeboto, Atin pong suportahan ang mga opisyal na social media accounts ng Quiapo Church. Halina't ilike at mag-subscribe sa mga opisyal na social media accounts ng ating parokya. Tingnan mabuti ang profile name at pictures ng bawat social media accounts. Facebook account. YouTube account Instagram account Fred's account X or Twitter account TikTok account Maging mapanuri po at mag-ingat sa mga peke at mapanlilang na social media accounts lalo na sa YouTube, kung saan pinapalabas ang mga lumang videos ng ating misa o galing sa iba pang simbahan. Ipalaganap natin ang mga opisyal na social media accounts ng Quiapo Church. Pagkatapos ng misa, wiwisikan po ang lahat ng banal na tubig. Pinakikiusapan ng lahat na manatili lamang muna sa inyong mga lugar Tanging sa Quezon Boulevard o sa Plaza San Juan lamang ang labasan ng lahat 
Sumunod po tayo. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagdalaw at pagsisimba sa Basilica Minor at Pambansang Dambana ni Jesus Nazareno. Magsitayo na po ang lahat. Let us pray. Having been nourished by your holy banquet, we beseech you, Lord Jesus Christ, to bring those you have redeemed by the wood of your life-giving cross to the glory of the resurrection, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Blessed are you, O God, a Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, You have given us your only Son to be our way to you. Make us follow him generously, faithfully, and lovingly. Merciful Jesus of Nazareth, you have revealed God's grace and unconditional love for us at the cross. You set your church in this world from which the true light would shine for all to see. Grant that we who enter this holy shrine may walk in your ways as disciples of justice, peace, mercy, and hope. We offer our prayers for the sick, the oppressed, the youth, and those in need most of your mercy. Hear our humble petitions. Bless these religious articles that we may be fervent in prayer and charity. As we continue our journey as your pilgrim people here on earth, may we set our hearts on the road to heaven. our true home and reward, where you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Padre Jesus Nazareno, sinasama pa namin. Puno pa namin, parang humamin buhay at kaligtasan. Sa Padre Jesus Nazareno, iligtas mo kami sa kasalanan. Ang puso ng inabatay at ay sa gisag ng aming kaligtasan. Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno, Arimal Palami Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno Ninguan natin Palami Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno Arimal Pag-ami Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno Ang 